So here we are. It's August, the dog days of August. Welcome to my next exhibit, All Creatures Great and Small, featuring my animal artwork. Um, as with every open studio event, um, of course there has to be appetizers and beverages, so everything is in a theme. So today we have hair of the dog and we will be serving pigs in a blanket. <laughs> I know. It's not just today. It's every day I'm like this. So um, a lot of what I do is pet portraits and animal related art, nature and uh, wildlife is a very big thing for me. So I'm going to take you on the tour of the studio um, and show you some of my animal artwork. Some of you may have seen it already and um, I will be adding some slideshows to these exhibits that I'm doing for uh, 2020 because they're all pre-recorded. While I have my studio space, I'm going to change my situation and be working at home. I don't need this big space if I can't use it uh, to the full potential. So, um, yeah, so I'll be, it's, it's a good thing though. It's a really good thing. Um, I'll be adding a slideshow with pet portraits that I've done in the past. And if you're interested in anything, let me know. Otherwise, just enjoy the tour. Oh, also today, we have a co-host um, that's giving me a little bit of trouble here. So I don't know if any of you remember this guy, but if you do, you're probably dating yourself a little bit. So this is my friend from pets.com. That was like when the webernet just started out. So he's going to be taking the tour with me and probably helping me with this drink because I don't know if I'm ready for that yet. It's still morning. Um, anyway, thank you as always for coming and be well, be safe. Join me in a little bit. Let me know where you're watching from and if anything interests you or if you'd like to see anything new on my easel as far as um, new work, what you, might you like what you you should do the talking because I'm totally failing at this right now Jeez. okay anyway enjoy thanks for coming so welcome back uh, this is my next exhibit all creatures great and small here's my studio airborne creations and I'm pre-recording all of my exhibits right now, including this one, uh, because I will be leaving this space. And all of my exhibits are now virtual. So let's enjoy it while it's here. So here we are. AirborneCreations.com is where you can find me and this video is of my current exhibit All Creatures Great and Small. Um, let's see if I can get the whole wall in there. Place looks great right now. I just hung this exhibit uh, yesterday so that was a lot of work moving stuff around but I really like how things are looking today. Um, all right, the base of my business is commissioned artwork. Pet portraits are a big part of that. I do um, all kinds of animals, including wildlife, on practically any surface you can think of. So, um, you know, basically I take customers' ideas, no matter whether it's pets or vehicles or um, I've done, you name it, I've probably done it, um, and bring them to reality, either on canvas or another surface. So I'm going to walk you through some of the pieces that I've done, 
And uh, the pieces here, everything except for two pieces in this room, are for sale. Most of these on the wall here are originals. They are all for sale. And I have prints and can make prints of anything that you might see that you like. So if you see anything that interests you, let me know. Um, let me know where you're watching from. I love to see, uh, you know, how far my reach is too. And uh, if you're ever interested in any kind of commission, let me know. Airborncreations.com. All right, I'm going to pause for. All right, I'm back. I realized some of my fancy lights weren't on. And um, my alligator, Mr. Alligator down there, um, he was getting a little fresh with me. So I had to fix him a little bit. Um, all right, so where to start? Okay, that's Mr. Alligator. I can't think of a better name, so please... If you have one, let me know. He's really cool. My little, one of my mascots. So here we're going to start with, this is Bringing Oscar Home. That there is the original. It is on a flat piece of canvas in, obviously, a frame. Um, but it's not a stretch canvas. It's a flat piece back there. And, uh... This is probably, it's 18 by 24, the painting is. And um, most of what I do is work in acrylics and use a lot of airbrush work, but I also do, you know, um, other things. Like, I don't know how the lighting is up there, but that is a uh, graphite sketch. If you can see that, the fluorescent lights in here are killer. So, um, anyway, that's another option. That is a sample of what you would get in a commissioned pet portrait right there. So, bringing Oscar home, I have, um, like I mentioned before, the pieces in here, there's a lot of fine art pieces that I do on my own in between commissions um, to build up bodies of artwork and work in series. I do ornaments all year long. You can request a, an ornament any time of the year. Uh, these two little wooden hearts here, um, they're very lightweight. And they've got human and doggy or kitty footprints in the sand. Okay, and underneath Mr. Owl here, I've got two of these plaques available. They've got um, heart-shaped stone with paw prints in rippling water. And I'm trying to read without my glasses because I forgot what this said. Oh, um, the saying around the edge says, I am but a ripple. Uh, I am but a, no, okay. Get with the program, Kiki. I am but a stepping stone in your life. You are forever a ripple in mine. Okay, so I've got two pieces right here. Those are for sale. Uh, pet portrait ornaments. Here's one I did as a sample. These are on really light, um, lightweight board. And they're about three inches. I have a few different shapes available. Um, they're really lightweight and I cover the sides with a ribbon. A lot of people get these and um, they keep them up all year long. They're great on the tree and then they take them and put them in a small space in the house or the office where they can see them all year long. So those, um, I offer pet portrait ornaments all year long and I love, I have a water garden so you're going to see 
but you know, from now and then, a lot of gold fishy, because I love mine. So I've got a few of these ornaments already made, and they're glass. They're made with a uh, glass paint, specifically for glass that I bake on, so they hold up really well. Um, so this is the style that I currently have a few already made, but I do have other styles that have sold, so I don't have any of those available. And another option to ornaments is trinket boxes. So these little boxes are great to keep by your bedside for jewelry or anywhere you want. Um, this is a print. This is a five by five, just on a uh, printed on a canvas board. That was a reproduction. Get up there. All right. So over here we've got another um, trinket box. I've got a few blank ones left. Uh, I think most of them are square, but I could always get any shape and any size that you want. These here, um, everybody needs these signs. Uh, I was doing these for a show, so these um, don't let the dog out type of things are what I have already made. And I could always do custom order on something like that. And they're just, you know, obviously blank on the back side. I also always have my camera with me at my side. And I drive around a lot. So um, wildlife and nature photography is a big thing for me. Um, this print... I came across this little guy sitting in a field with his mom one morning, so that was a really great shot. This print is in a nice custom frame uh, with a custom mat that is for sale if anybody's interested. And these two little blocks, these are also samples of um, what you can do with, with your custom pet portrait. These are five by five, so they take up very little space. And they're nice because they stand on their own. And you can either, you know, just put them on a tabletop or uh, hang it on the wall. Here we have another little trinket box. All of my work, um, whether I think it needs it or not, I put a UV clear coat on it. Because some people don't realize when you put artwork, anything that's been painted, especially with acrylics and, you know, water-based paint, if you leave it in a window, um, you're going to get the risk of the paint fading. And uh, that kind of is not good. So you can't see very good because of the fluorescent lights, but that there is a print. You'll see the full-size piece in a few minutes. Um, that is a cropped version of a painting I call Unchained. And you'll see that main piece in a minute. So those prints right there I have available. These three here are also prints that I have available. We've got the Basset Hound. And this is a print of Maine Coon Cabin. That, uh, I do not have the original anymore, the original sold, but I've got prints of that, and that's a nice piece. And this is part of my um, Sleigh Horse series that's a print too. That's uh, working at the mill. Okay, I do clothing. That there is a jacket, and um, by the time this exhibit shows, I will have a couple demos up about painting on fabric. Um, like I said, I work a lot with the airbrush. So the nice thing about the airbrush is it becomes a part of the fabric and you cannot even feel it. It's like it was just printed on. Uh, it's very flexible. It's not stiff like, um, you know, when you hand paint it with a brush. And this one here, 
lights are a bummer. Uh, this is potted, potty, <laughs> potted puppies from the planet P-U-G. Don't ask. But anyway, uh, this here is an acrylic on board. And um, I was recreating a design that I had done years ago. And it was just the puppies with vines. It didn't have wings or antennas or anything like that on there. Um, and I was going to recreate that, but I thought that was just so boring to do the same thing again. So this is what that turned into. That's about 24 by 36 piece. And the frame it's in is very lightweight, unlike some of these frames. Uh, this here is the original of Winter Husky, and that's in a really nice uh, quality frame. That's uh, 16 by 20. And I have prints available for that as well, prints and note cards. And this here is, um, I had done a commission um, with with this painting the commission sold um and i i really liked how that came out so i wanted to use that as a an example of you don't just have to have a floating head of of your pet portrait like so many portraits are they're just kind of a head floating in space i like my animals to be grounded all right that up there is the original, it's called Lily. And um, that came from a commissioned painting that I had done for somebody years ago. And it was just a black cat with one Lily behind it. And I really liked the idea. So I kind of elaborated on that. And uh, this is what I got. So that there's the original and I have prints. This one is Autumn Tabby. And that is not for sale. The original isn't. I do have prints. Um, this was one of my guys. Puppy the cat. And that was quite a lot of work to put into this piece. But uh, like I said, there are only two paintings in here that, well, three items that are not for sale. Uh, more clothing. This is on a satin jacket I did a while ago. Um, I don't know, you can kind of see it. Black Panther, and then it's got stars in the background with the roaring Black Panther. And that's kind of my environmental take on the, <laughs> uh, the asteroid headed for the forest. Kind of like where we're headed these days, huh? So, um... This jacket um, I had done for somebody, and now I use it as a sample piece because they kind of outgrew it. All right, and this one here, this, um, I just brightened the colors up on this, and this was my mother's, so that came back to me after she passed, and so obviously this one is not for sale, but... If you are interested in clothing, certainly let me know what your ideas are. Um, this one, she loved flowers and birds. So, and on the front, she also loved her hedgehogs. So we got a little hedgehog on there and I had found a label that I put on there too. So I'm happy that I brightened up the colors. She got a lot of wear out of that uh, with the the fabric, I use a um, textile binder in the paint, acrylic paint, and I heat set it a number of times to flatten down the uh, fabric. So, let's see. Pine Boy. This is a construction helmet that I had floating around. Um, it needs to be touched up a little bit. But when we built our water garden, um, I did this for my husband. <laughs> he didn't wear it much, but it was just fun to, to 
paint it. And so, um, yeah, I keep it around for a sample. Um, and same thing with the helmets. I use the UV res resistant clear and put a really nice heavy top coat on there. Okay. And up there we have the original of yin and yang. Kind of self-explanatory. And the detail on the pebbles, they took, just like Autumn Tabby next to it, they took forever to do. There was a lot of, a lot of work, but that's, you know, most of my work is really detailed like this. I don't mind it. It's very therapeutic. And that up there, that is Cat on the Sill. That is actually a watercolor. I do work in watercolor as well. And looking at these paintings, you can kind of get an idea of how many different options you have um, other than just the head of an animal on, on a blank space. Corgi and Pup. That is 16 by 20. That's the original. And I have prints, journals, note cards of that one. Here is Llama. That's a really original name, I know. Uh, that's on a flat piece of canvas in a nice frame. And here's the original of Working on the Mill. It's a small painting. I think that's um, six by eight. And the photograph that I used for that, I went to the... Um, Oh, where did, where was I? Um, anyway, I went on location to a uh, sleigh rally. I'll think of the name. Uh, Sturbridge Village in Massachusetts. And got some really great shots there. So I'll be doing a lot more of the um, sled horses series. So that was one of the first ones I did. All right, so while I back up, because the next painting is Unchained, and that's really big. Um... I'll put better pictures online, but this little rocking horse here, that is for sale. It's a really nice quality piece. And like I said, if you're interested in seeing more of it, um, I'll certainly put some more pictures of it. Um, I'm planning on putting a mane and a tail on it, but it's in really good condition. It's a beautiful piece. And they looks cute with my teddy bear. So let me back up. All right, that there is unchained in the middle. And that is, uh, it's a big piece. That's like three by five or I don't know. I'd have to look it up. But anyway, uh, it's big. I've got prints of this guy. Big German Shepherd sitting on the black back of a flatbed truck. And I do have plans to do a companion piece for that, which will be just as big. But his eyes follow you around the room. I don't know if you can see that. But that's kind of cool. All right. This here is simply called Pinto. And I, I had done that some time ago uh, as, as a display so people could really get a look at what I do. And this one here, this is Over the River, another part of my Sleigh Horse series. And if you ever want to see examples of my work, um, I do have quite a bit online at airbornecreations.com. But if you ever want um, to get an idea of, okay, say, all right, I have a bunny. What can I do with a bunny? 
Um, you know, I can kind of send you a few different ideas of what I have done and options for what you can do. Like this one here, uh, this actually I used to subcontract for a tile company. So this was the original watercolor for some custom tiles that they did. Oh, and there's the whole page of all those guys. So that was a series that I did for them. But, you know, watercolor, clothing, I did, oh, that's a tie I did for somebody that's crazy about owls. I actually did two different ones. That's a big backdrop I did for a party. That was like um, six by eight foot piece of foam core. That was a backdrop to a party. So, uh, like I said, I do basically whatever people want uh, within reason, people. Don't get creepy on me. Um, so I can always send you different ideas. Oh, here's the uh, Gordon setter that you couldn't see because of the lights before. That's the graphite that I did. Um, that is a print of Midnight Rose. That's been a really popular piece. And this, uh, the original sold, but I do have prints of this German Shepherd. Up here, these three pieces together, um, I started a series of ancient cat breeds. So, um, the main. The story behind the Manx, why he doesn't have a tail, is because he was the last one on the boat, and as um, the door was shutting, it took his tail off. That's what they say. So that's part of an ancient breed. Um, over here, we've got um, the King's Treasures. That's an Applehead Siamese, which is the original Siamese. Um, I know people love those skinny face little things, but uh, that's the original ancient braid. And this one here is Japanese bobtail, Mineki Niko, um, which is a lucky symbol in Chinese. And that's also a very old braid. So that was kind of cool looking up... Um, you know, the histories and, and finding out. I want to do more, but, you know, I've got a lot on my plate right now. I've got a lot of other projects I'm working on. So, you know, they'll get back on the easel someday. And here I started doing these teeny weeny little paintings. Those, I think, are six by eight. And these are my Stargazer series. These are the three that I currently have available. And another thing that I could also custom paint for you. Uh, you know, if you wanted the image of your own animal, it's, you know, very, not a lot of detail like I use in the other pieces, but you know, they really, I think they're really cute. And, uh, just kind of that simplicity. It's it's nice change for me to work on. So I could always put your animal in there. So here we've got, I'm running into things now. Um, moving into the wildlife part. I just started the wildlife series. Um, this piece here, the Robin's Nest, it did have a companion piece which sold. Um, I missed that because they looked really nice together, but I do have prints of that and the uh, babies in the nest that was with it. And this one up here, that is Little Fox, just sitting on his own in the woods. And over here, this is the big part of my series. This is the first piece and it, it's simply called Wolf. Um, this started out, I was uh, painting a helmet, just a sample piece, and 
as I was coming up with the design for the helmet, I thought of this and I'm like, well, I would make way better of a painting. So that's how this happened. And this uh, is now going to become a big wildlife series. The next one I have is a buck and you'll see the idea behind that in a minute. Okay. So that piece is currently not for sale. Um, if anybody is interested, um, you know, of course I have prints and journals and note cards. Um, if anybody is interested in the original, let me know. But I kind of took it off of the market for right now because this is going to be a really big, important piece for me, um, series for me. So I'd like to have them to kind of put together in sequence. And this is, uh, you know, another small piece. I was just kind of fooling around with, with different uh, textures and backgrounds. Yeah. Running Wolf. Here's another sample of a pet portrait. Very basic. And these guys, uh, the Grizzly Bear series, um, these have been a lot of fun to work with because they're a lot looser than all that really tight detail that I'm usually working with. So these are the originals and I'm working on getting prints and cards made up of them right now. This was the first one I did. All right, and that's all it on those guys. Up there, we've got a little deer. And that is pretty much it on this side for all creatures, great and small. So I'm going to take you around the rest of the room and take you to my work table and uh, show you a few other things that I'm working on. All right. I also do automotive work and I have some really pretty walking sticks back there um, my husband does those they're really nice if anybody's interested in a nice walking stick let me know um, another thing I do I've got a couple of pieces back here that are cut and primed you can see the German Shepherd and I've got a collie back there. I've got a horse head up here. Um, I turn these into welcome signs and they get painted. I hand cut the wood and they get painted and turned into welcome signs like that one there. So many, many options. My prints, I have a number of pieces available in print form. Oh, the this was everybody's favorite. Um, that's Daydreamer. So the original recently sold, and I've got prints and journals and note cards of this right now. So I keep a limited amount of um, pre-made prints on hand because you you know you can't print every single thing geez i go broke um so if there's i have on my online store i have most of what prints are available um so you can check it out on there the link to that is on my uh, website airbornecreations.com and if you see anything that you like that you think you might make a print like that you might like a print of uh, definitely reach out to me and let me know I could make that happen for you so here's a little vest 
that I've got, I actually turned this design, that vest, into my Celebrate yeah, lighting, lighting, lighting. Um, you'll get a better view of that on my shop, but that's available in uh, note cards and journals right now. These are a couple votive candle holders I have on slate. UV protective clear coat so they can be used indoor or outdoor. So now we're going to get to my work area. This is a piece I'm working on, one of my automotive paintings. My next exhibit will be uh, automotive work. So keep an eye out for that in October. There's Lily. She's for sale. Um, that is a hand cut wood piece. And I still need to put the pole on it to make it a carousel horse. But, um, yeah, her head comes off and she will come off of the uh, platform, which has rollers. So you could put that right in your car anytime. That is for sale. Okay, so here we have Romantic Rose is still currently on the easel. This is a watercolor that I'm working on. And here is the original picture that I took. That was my dad's cat, Julius. Don't mind the baby monitor. That, that's how I communicate with people now because I don't want people in the studio. <laughs> so I have the other piece outside in case anybody wants to talk. Um, okay, so we talked about the helmet that I started with the picture of Wolf on it. Um, don't mind the camera, I gotta switch hands. So this is how that painting started out. And uh, so once I got the idea for the painting, I'm like, well, that's way better than just doing a helmet. Um, but I brought the helmet back out, and you can see how I've started the flames on the bottom. I'm doing a tutorial currently, uh, doing a tutorial on painting the flames. So the design changed for this, because I didn't want to do the same thing. This will be, um, it'll be surrounded in flames, and barbed wire will wrap around the probably, well, I don't know where it's going to go, but flames are going to come first, and um, then I'm going to wrap barbed wire around it, not around the wolf. That wouldn't be cool. Um, and this is a uh, resting fox. This so far has been almost completely done with the airbrush. Uh, you can get a lot of effects with the airbrush. So all that texture in there. Uh, I use the airbrush and then spray it with some soapy water and kind of let the paint do its own thing. I'll be doing a tutorial on that too because that's kind of a cool way to use the airbrush. So that guy, let's see, where, okay. Somewhere I have the picture, but I take my own reference pictures wherever I can. Um, you know, all, all of these guys, they were in my backyard or, you know, out elsewhere. Um, which brings me to the follow-up to the painting wolf. You can kind of see the outline here, but this is how the painting start. I do a master sketch, and then I, I work out the details. So this is a big buck uh, that showed up on my trail camera one night. And I looked at other reference photos and kind of brought his head up a little bit. And um, that's going to be the next piece to that wildlife series. That's going to be a really nice piece. 
And then here, next door, that is the original sketch that I started out for uh, Wolf. So a lot of time, a lot of detail goes into that uh, planning process. All right, so um, that is my work area. Currently, my work area, by the time you see this, it will be somewhere else. Um, another piece I'm working on, uh, if you've seen my videos before, you've probably seen some of these pieces. That's a bunch of kittens on a milk wagon. More reference. And this is my airbrush stand. I've had that thing, a couple friends of mine built that for me when I uh, went into the mall with an airbrush cart doing t-shirts and all that fun stuff. Uh, that's how I got my start in this business. So now I'm mostly fine art and, you know, uh, the clothing. I, you know, I prefer to work on jackets, whether it's denim or, or leather um, or whatever. Um, you know, I'll still do T-shirts and stuff, but I, I, you know, do more specified pieces of clothing now. And this is going to be a barred owl that I saw sitting up at a tree at my house. And there's my messy, messy, messy workspace. Another piece I'm working on. Two does that were in my backyard. So it looks like I'm all over the place, but this is how I work. Um, I work on a number of pieces at the same time because they are so labor intensive that um, it really keeps your mind alive to move around, do a couple hours on one piece, and uh, then change it up a little bit. And up there, people love when they would come into my studio for events, they love. They would look up here, and you could always tell the cat people. Um, I will have prints available for these. Um, well, by by the time this video shows, so prints are available for these. I'm looking into the future. So this is called one scratch, two scratch, three scratch and door so it's kind of like three strikes and you're out kind of thing um, but I do illustration as well so this series kind of just happened on its own because anybody like I said anybody who has cats you know how that goes okay So this is another piece that I'm working on. It's practically done, but I've, I've got a little bit more work to do on this. This is on a horse's wings. And this is part of my carousel series that focuses on a different theme for every horse. So this one represents therapeutic horse riding, horseback riding, which is something that I volunteered for. Uh, for a couple years. Great program. A couple watercolors for my air for my um, carousel series. And this was the starter piece for that whole series. This is Celestial Ride. That's a really big piece and that is for sale. I've got prints of the full piece and I've also got kind of cropped down version like this one here. That's a print. And there's another print 
which is, I was fooling around with color for Midnight Rose, which is right next door. So I've got, uh, this one is not for sale. Mid Midnight Rose is not for sale. I'm keeping that, but I do have prints and journals and note cards. And this little mailbox here, it's a little wooden mailbox. It's not nailed down, it's for sale. And this here is a little side table. I refinish furniture as well. I'll pick up old pieces and fix them up or, um, you know, if you ever have something that you think you want painted, just get in touch with me. I've done all kinds of stuff. Dining room sets, uh, individual pieces, kids' furniture. All right, we are almost there. So these are some of my automotive artwork. Mailboxes, helmets, there's another jacket. I've been doing a lot of these little mini canvases that are nice for also for uh, Christmas decorations. I'll have to go back and show you the goldfish helmet that I did because I didn't do that. I just walked by it. That alligator kind of messed me up. And these are the companion pieces to that one I showed you before, the three brothers. My automotive artwork. Little mini canvases, three inches. We do pet portraits on those too. And cigar boxes. These would be great for pet portrait. I've got a number of cigar, um, unpainted cigar boxes available. If you're interested in something like that, I could send you pictures of what I have. So that's it. That's it. I'm going to take you over here real quick and show you the goldfish helmet. So I totally ignored it. Some of you may have seen this already. That was a lot of fun to do. It was a challenge to do the water. And I know that wasn't graceful how I did that, sorry. Um, try not to make anybody seasick. So that is it for now. If you saw anything that you're interested, give me a shout. If you think you're interested in doing anything custom, let me know. Oh, here's another guy I missed. I also do portraits on tile. I have about five of these tiles left, 12 by 12. And um, that's a really nice surface because you can either put it on a stand or um, get a frame made for it and put it up on the wall. Uh, Daydreamer, I have a couple mugs available. goldfish and another thing that I've been doing is taking my prints and turning them um, into wine charms earrings and pendants I'm 
these are just a few I've done. So once again, if you see anything and you'd like, like a set of wine charms as a gift or something, we could work out some ideas. Um, and one other thing, I promise, really, this is the last. Um, I have these little adopt a kitty pins and you can have those custom made. So these are some samples I did right there, but people have been buying the samples, so I'll stick a pin or, you know, a hoop on it for whatever you want. Um, so I have maybe 15 of these little wood pieces left. I can't find them anymore. So if you're interested in that, let me know. And that, really, I promise, that's it. That's all my current animal artwork on hand. Um, like I said, I'm leaving my studio. And it's not a sad thing. Um, it's a necessary thing at, at this time with the pandemic. Um, everything I'm doing is virtual. So it makes much more sense since I'm doing curbside and uh, online sales, it makes a lot more sense to um, cut my costs down and keep it virtual and keep everybody safe. So um, visit my website and sign up for my email list. And, um, and that's it. You know, keep tuned in and, and see what I have coming up next. And let me know, you know, what you think, what you'd like to see in the future. And certainly if you want any custom work, that's what I do. So give me a shout out. Hope you enjoyed the tour. Hope you're all being safe. Stay insane. All right. Be good. Take care. <music>
exhibit, my new exhibit. I also have the holiday show coming up. And um, if you'd like to go back and see some of my other video, just visit my YouTube channel. And um, I just did Christmas in July. And I will tell you something about this hair of a dog drink. It will definitely knock you out. Um, this guy's going to have to drink that. I'll save that for a day. I really need it, but not today. <laughs> so, um, y'all take care, be safe, and behave. Right? See you soon. You could talk. I love this guy so much, but that's okay. That's all right. He's classic. <sighs> that's a wrap. Oh, wait. <laughs> Take care of your critters, people. They love you. Love them right back. <laughs>